Cuiabie, mo. Mo, it's been long. Where have you yes, been? I've been MIA, but I'm gonna be back. Uh -huh. Looking fabulous. Uh -huh. Better than before. Okay. Bringing wow. up my A game. Wow, A game. A so game. expect that Moesha A game. So ah, sh show them. Yeah, At least. Yeah, uh huh. Okay, so I was like, Blasters are heading to Qatar for the World Cup. Uh, what do you think oh, of the stars? Okay, you believe they can win the World Cup? I'm not so much a football person, okay. but all I know is that Ghanaians can really make us proud sometimes, and I wait for them to do that. Okay, all right. Moshe, give us a 360. Whoa, everything's set. Teddy made it. again big ups to you for uh, coming back and giving back to the Ghana Premier League you brought so much color to Accra Hatsabo I remember those set pieces and the way you used to organize the boys ladies and gentlemen please show some love to this legend let's show some love to him Sule all right I just want to I just want to hear one last thing tell me about what went through your mind before you struck that ball with your left foot in that game against Uruguay. Tell me about it. Um, I was thinking to, to, to keep the ball to us and one. Okay. I was literally looking at him, but uh, he turned around and then I decided to shoot and then we went in, so I was lucky. Okay, can you tell me the name of that celebration you did? The one where you twisted both feet. Do you, do you have a name for it? Yes. I don't. I don't. I, we were, we were yeah, in South Africa, so um, there was a group. Yeah. Uh, South Africans, they were yeah. dancing, so they, they did that dance. And, and you replicated it. Sule, I want you to tell me something. Look, you're one of only two players to have featured in three World Cups for Ghana. That is a big deal. Sum up all of your three experiences. Well, all, all of the three were, uh, were amazing. Especially the first one, because that was, that was basically. Face, um, and you scored? Yeah, yes, I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I guess Czech Republic. He's yeah. a umbilical cord and he's a man of style. Put your hands together for him one more time. El yeah, Capitano. Uh, unfortunately, I don't speak any Italian, so, you know, yeah. I'm Italian. Ah, uh, see? <laughs> hey, um... Capitano, we salute you. Thank you so much for what you've done for Mother Ghana. Um, you played in two World Cups, and now Ghana is up for the fourth task. So much expectations. I just want you to inspire all of us here. Talk to all of us here. Like what you normally do when you guys are going onto the pitch. Inspire the boys, because they're going to hear this message from you. What do you want to tell them? Especially after you taking that mantle on your shoulders and making sure that Ghana made it to the first World Cup. Well, I think my disciples are, are spoken. I said my disciples because they were solidly behind me when I was a captain. So they made it happy. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together. Yeah. They made it happy to our first World Cup. I think we played in 2006. 
we went to Germany as an adult, uh, believing in ourselves with the kind of players that we have. Um, I think we didn't go there just to represent Ghana, but we went there to make a statement. We played against Italy, our first game we lost 2 0. We played against um, Czech Republic, they were number two in the world, FIFA ranking. We beat them 2 1. 2 0, sorry. We played against USA, they were number five, FIFA ranking. We beat them 2 1. And we played against Almighty Brazil. We lost the game 3 0. They won the game because they had experience, they have been there so many times. It was our first time. So it was very, very difficult for us. And you know, when you have players like Mona, Doha, Trino, and the rest, you will find it difficult. I quite remember when we finished the game, I asked John Mensa, today is if he's going to get a massage. And he said, Proud of anything you they do online. I be proud blogger. 